Hello, you're watching the Star News Update. I'm Vivian Powell. Former Immigration Department Director General Dato Wahid Mohamad Don pleaded not guilty in a sessions court in Kuala Lumpur to committing bribery last month. The 56-year-old is alleged to have agreed to accept a bribe of 60,000 ringgit from businessman Dato Lao Chang Hien. The payment is said to expedite the approval of visa applications with reference for more than 4,000 Bangladeshis to enable them to enter Malaysia. The father of two is accused of committing the offence while still holding the top post in the department. If convicted, he can be jailed up to 20 years and fined five times the value of the bribe under Section 16 of the Anti-Corruption Act 1997. Deputy Finance Minister Datuk Kong Cho Ha says the value and the exchange rate of the ringgit will be monitored to ensure that the currency's value stays consistent with the country's economic growth. He adds that the exchange rate of the ringgit has risen slightly to 0.3% to 3.2965 ringgit compared to the US dollar from December to August 8 this year. The value of the ringgit has risen to 15.3% compared to the US dollar since the ringgit was unpacked from the US dollar in July 2005. Kong says that Bank Negara Malaysia had taken out the 500 ringgit and 1,000 ringgit notes from the circulation and the government had no plans to reintroduce these denominations. Mohamed Saiful Bukhari Azlan, who has accused Parti Keadilan Rakyat Advisor Datuk Seri Anwar Ibrahim of sodomizing him, gave a statement on the allegation to the Federal Territory Islamic Religious Department, Jawi, on Tuesday. According to Bernama, he arrived at the Jawi office at 10 a.m. He was accompanied by his father, Aslan Muhammad Lazim, and lawyer Zamri Idris, and escorted by police officers in plain clothes. Saiful is believed to have been called by Jawi to give a statement relating to his sodomy allegation. International Trade and Industries Minister Tan Sri Muhyiddin Yassin says Saiful Bukhari Aslan's act of swearing on the Quran in a mosque is not wrong but a tradition practiced by some Muslims. He says he was not disputing the views of some Muslim scholars who felt what Saiful did was wrong. Mujidin said some Muslims swore on the Quran to prove themselves and Saiful Bukhari wanted to show the world that he was speaking the truth. He said this after launching the Third International Islamic Fair, IIF, 2008. For more updates, log on to staronline.tv. I'm Vivian Pal. Thanks for watching.